What's up guys? Apple just announced the new Apple Silicon Max. All right, so if anybody has been watching anything going on today, Apple literally three hours ago, well, by the time you see this, it'll be a couple hours at one o'clock today, Eastern time, 10, 10 a.m. Pacific time, Apple announced the new Silicon Max. I wanna start this off by first saying, don't forget to reach on down here, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy this content. The Apple Silicon Mac, the M1 chip. Oh my God. We're talking amazing, right? I think we all, for the last couple of years, knew this could happen because of this guy right here. This is the 2018 version of the iPad Pro. Thing's been amazing, super light. This, believe it or not, Oops, I opened something here. This right here was my video editor until I built the big workstation. This is an eight core Apple, or Apple chip. So we knew Apple was gonna be able to do something eventually with this technology. The iPad's always been good, but I think it was the Pro, especially the 2018, that really showed how far Apple was willing to go, how far they could truly take their chips. I love this thing. This thing's with me every day, all day. Use it at work, use it at home for personal use. It is mine, not works. And I love this thing. I only use just a regular keyboard folio thing from Apple. Works perfect for me gave us an idea of what they were going to be doing. Got so excited with this, I ended up buying the Samsung Galaxy Book S. This is a, an, an ARM powered, but with the Snapdragon chipset in it, 13 inch laptop. At the time, it could do everything I wanted, but as with COVID, I've been home more, so I've been able to actually do most of my editing on the laptop, but there are times I go to my dad's for the weekend. And as you guys know, I do a mega vlog because I can't edit on this. Editing on this is, a, is pretty good, but it's not Final Cut, it's not um, Premiere Pro, and it's not DaVinci Resolve. Something happened. Friday when I tried to get Adobe Creative Cloud on here, wasn't happening. I got it today. Now the apps are available, but at least the Creative Cloud itself is, is downloaded, it's ready to go. Soon as they start releasing apps for it, I'm gonna try to do some editing on this. Why is this important? Well, first off, thank you Apple. When I bought this computer late last year, when it first came out, or was it early this year? Whenever I got it, it was late last year and Microsoft would, the uh, Surface Pro X, this came out, I got really excited. ARM chips are doing awesome because of this thing. This thing's amazing. This is still way faster process er, through benchmarks than this. This just happens to be a 13 inch form factor. Uh, keyboard's not as nice as I would like it to be, but uh, expandable storage. I put a one terabyte card in here. It works really good for emails, other little things I needed to do. Got really excited and then nothing. It's like Microsoft gave up. Well, was it May or June of this year when Apple said, hey, you know what? Intel's kind of pissed us off enough. We're going to the Mac Silicon. We're making our own. Apple Silicon, not Mac Silicon. Apple Silicon. We're gonna make our own chips. Month later, two months later, I start reading that Microsoft is interested in the ARM again, ARM processors, and they're gonna start building out and pushing developers to build out for Windows 10 on ARM 64. 
So Apple, because of Apple, now Windows is involved again. Recently, Windows just launched the Surface Pro X2. Squared? X squared? I don't know. The second version of the Surface Pro X. But then today, Apple launched three amazing products. We have the MacBook Air, which is the only one that is passively cooled. Eight cores, four high, four high efficiency cores and four just grinding, get it done cores. We got an eight core GPU, a 16 core neural engine, and you can build this thing out with either eight gig or 16 gigs of RAM, 256, 512, one terabyte, two terabyte. I mean, you can you can kind of customize this thing. It starts at eight hundred ninety nine dollars. If you if you're a student or a thousand dollars if you're not. Then they talked about the Mac Mini. This one is not passively cooled. Has a single fan. Still eight core GPU, eight core CPU, it's the exact same chip can build out the exact same way. It's a desktop. We're talking a Mac mini that can probably keep up fairly well with their new 2020 iMac 10 core. And such a small form factor, like the size of an Apple TV. The MacBook Air, well crap, that can probably keep up fairly well with their 16 inch MacBook Pro. Maybe not the fully decked out one, but the, the base model. I mean, maybe even better. <coughs> and then we get the MacBook 13. Still the same chip. It is got two fans on it. Editing. You can simultaneously edit two 4K streams at once. Uh, it's running Thunderbolt or USB 4. Retina display, P3 wide color gambit, gamut, up to 500 nits, true tone technology. I mean, this is the one I want. Apple, if you watch this and you're giving out like, you know, I would love to review one, do some edits on it, see how it does. Man, do that with Final Cut Pro. Can, can you guys imagine 20 hours of battery life? That's what Apple's claiming. And I can tell you right now, on this thing, I get 14 to 18 hours. I can't see why Apple can't do just as well, if not better. Again, I'm a Mac guy, I'm an Apple guy. And the only question I gotta ask myself now is, do I buy the 13 inch in a few months, or do I wait and see what they come out with on the, for the 16 inch? I mean, it's gotta be, mind-blowing it's gonna be amazing it's gonna blow us away this thing's gonna be amazing <sighs> honestly I can't wait I can't wait to see what else comes out because these products are so incredible right now yeah all right guys well that's what I got for you today again Hit the subscribe button if you like this content. Ring the bell for notifications. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.